السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو دی آن لائن عربک کلاسز آفرڈ بائی بیت الحکمہ ان دیوبند دس از یور بردر محمد انوار خان القاسمی دا مینیجنگ ڈائریکٹر آف دی انسٹیٹیوٹ اینڈ دا لیڈ ٹیچر ان ایٹ ٹوڈے وی ول بی اسٹارٹنگ منہاج العربیہ ولیوم ون منہاج العربیہ از ون آف دی موسٹ امپورٹنٹ بکس for learning Arabic, for mastering Arabic. And this book is a part of syllabus in most of the madrasas in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and many European and American countries. So today, we will be starting the first lesson of the first volume of Minhaj al-Arabiyya. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dars 1. Lesson 1. Before we start the main lesson, it is important for us to know the main theme of this lesson. So in fact, the central theme of this lesson, the main theme of this lesson is demonstrative pronoun. How to use demonstrative pronoun? Demonstrative pronoun is a type of pronoun which we use to indicate to something, to point to something, to turn the attention of someone to something. And this is a very common pronoun in all languages of the world. In Arabic, they call it Ismul Ishara. Ismul Ishara and demonstrative pronoun in English. And Ismul Ishara, which is called in Arabic, Uh, the Urdu speakers also use the same term Ismul Ishara. Okay, so now we start. It is very easy. Hada Jamalun. There are in this lesson two demonstrative pronouns which have been used here. Number one, Hada, Hada meaning this, and number two, Dalika, and Dalika meaning that. So Hada Jamalun, Hada Jamalun meaning this is a camel. Hada meaning this, Jamalun meaning camel. Hada Jamalun, this is a camel. And number two, Thalika Kalbun. Thalika meaning that, and Kalbun meaning dog. Thalika Kalbun meaning that is a dog. And Thalika Farasun, that is a horse. Farasun meaning horse. You can see in the picture in the book. Hada Kitabun, this is a book. Hada Kitabun. This is a book. And now turning to the next page, page number 10. Hada Jamalun. This is a camel. Jamalun meaning camel. Thalika Farasun. That is a horse. Hada Kalbun. This is a dog. Thalika Jamalun. That is a camel. Thalika Farasun. That is a horse. Hada Kalbun. This is a dog. Hada kitabun, this is a book. Thalika arabiyun, that is Arabic. So now, I hope that the idea is completely clear for you. So we used Hada and Thalika in sentences and now you can understand the meaning of these two words clearly. Hada and Thalika. And now we have A simple exercise. We have to do this exercise. This exercise is in Urdu. First of all, I would translate these Urdu sentences into English one by one. And then I will translate that English sentence into Arabic. So that it is easier for you to understand. A kutta hai. This is a dog. Hada kalbun. Wo ghoda hai. Thalika farasun, that is a horse, oh ghoda hai, that is a horse, thalika farasun, ye oont hai, hadha jamalun, ye oont hai, hadha jamalun, this is a camel, oh kutta hai, that is a dog, thalika kalbun, ye ghoda hai, this is a horse, Hada Farasun 
वो ऊंट है दैट इज अ कैमल जाली का जमल उन ये कलम है दिस इज अ पेन हा कलम उन वो किताब है जाली का किताब उन दैट इज अ बुक वो किताब है दैट इज अ बुक जाली का किताब उन ये इंसान है दिस इज ह्यूमन बींग हादा इंसान उन वो हैवान है दैट इज एन एनिमल जाली का हैवान उन ये सवाल है ये सवाल है दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन हादा सवाल उन वो जवाब है दैट इज एन आंसर जाली का जवाब उन वो किताब है दैट इज अ बुक जाली का किताब उन वो कुरान है दैट इज कुरान जाली का कुरान उन यह अरबी है दिस इज अरबिक हादा अरबी उन वो सहल है सहल मीनिंग ईजी दैट इज ईजी वो सहल है दैट इज ईजी जाली का सहल उन सो नाउ we have completed lesson number 1 and i hope that your point is clear inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh